a guy said that women, whenever a camera gets turned on, they always play in their hair. And I'm finding that I hit actually do that a lot. All right, so let's get started. Hey, gorgeous ones. Um, the 21 days of beauty are over. And I wanted to share what I bought and what I didn't buy, buy and why. So if you would like to see how I approach the 21 days of beauty, stay tuned. Yes, I can like the whole universe. I am different. I am purpose. I am brilliant. Yes, I feel it. All right, welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, <coughs> so the 21 days of beauty, uh, the spring one is over. My shopping is done. And I have to say, I didn't do too bad. Um, there were some things that I just wanted and had been wanting to try that were on sale. And some things like, you know, I had to stock up on. But all in all, I think I did really good on the sale. And the reason why I'm going to say that is because sometimes you tend to buy things because they're on sale. I, at least I do. And so I edited myself based on, do I really want it? Or am I just getting it because it's all set? Oh, wait, I feel a little shiny. Let me get out the red sponge. Y'all know about, to, if y'all know about the red sponge, y'all ain't about that life. I found it. Okay, so anyway, back to what we we're talking about. <laughs> My, some of my people will know about the red sponge, the whole conversation. You'll get the inside joke. The thing that I find interesting is that people were complaining about the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and it didn't have enough things and it really was a, like a mud one. I don't think it was mad. What I think it was is what it's supposed to be. We have to remember some of us that we buy a lot of beauty products. And so for us... um, the, the what we purchase is a little different. I think the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty is really good for people who are not the consumers that we are. We are we are mega consumers when it comes to makeup. A lot of us are. So let's just be honest with ourselves. So yes, yeah, sometimes we are we are very specific on the things we want. Like I wanted some damn blush to be half price. I wanted Tarte to go on half price. I wanted the bare minerals to go blush to go on half price. But that's very specific to me because of my likes. And when the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty comes about, it's about the, you know, the collective. And I think it works really well for, for the smaller, smaller makeup consumer because it gives them the ability to buy some things that they wouldn't necessarily buy, but want to try because they're not, they don't buy as much as we do. So they can pick and choose and everything and enjoy the sale. The, the way that we don't enjoy it as much because we are mega consumers. So, you know, us mega consumers, a lot of times what we're looking at is, you know, buying things that we buy, you know, backups of things that we buy a lot of or things like that. So if you thought like it was mad, look at how you your buying habits and maybe it's mad to you like it kind of was to me based on the fact that I got a lot of shit over here. All right. I just want to throw that in there too for you. Anyway, so I really didn't buy as much. So let me just, so let me talk about the things I didn't buy. We'll go into what I bought. The things I didn't buy was um, quite a few things that I thought about and I was like, yes, let me get it. It was some palettes involved. I didn't get the um, Too Faced Chocolate Gold. I didn't get the Tarte Toasted palette, um, Tartlet Toasted palette. And the reason why I didn't get them is because Every time they go on sale, I think I didn't really want them to begin with. And I know people say they're lovely palettes. I sh I'm sure they are, but I don't I'm, I'm getting, you know, I got a bookcase full of palettes. I'm getting to the point where I have to be honest with myself and say, am I really buying it just because I want it? I might use it or am I buying it just because it's like, oh, it's one of those things and it's on sale and everybody talks about it. So I didn't get them. Other things I didn't buy, I didn't buy some of the skincare. And the reason why I didn't buy the skincare is because nice price on sale, but the original price is pretty damn hefty. And I, there's no point me falling in love with something that I might not be able to afford in my personal budget to get later on if I think it's a great product. You know, all bullshit aside, 
I am. I ain't got that much money. So I have to, you know, you have to be kind of realistic with yourself. It's like, yeah, this might be 45 now, but if it's 90 later, am I actually going to buy it? Or is it going to be one of those things with, damn, I really want it, but I'm not getting it now. So that's why I decided on some things not to get. Um, the only thing I regret I did not get during 21 Days of Beauty is that they had a Peter Thomas Roth set um for the cloud cleanser it was a cloud water cloud um moisturizer and stuff it was a really good deal and i did not pull the trigger and by the time i wanted to it was gone it was sold out it was a done deal so that's the one thing i do regret that i did not get so now that we talked about the things that i really didn't get and there's a few other things um let's talk about what i got because we're gonna make this a quick video okay so the first things i got was the mac uh paint pots i got painterly and i have soft ochre i decided i want to try them both i've always heard people talk about them and i have been using them and i actually do like them as a base for my eyeshadow yes i still use um tart shape tape a lot because i'm using it up and that is a great eyelid primer as far as i'm concerned but i do like these and since i have two of them i'll be using these for a while um i know somebody said they were like melt mel said they're like very dry but they're not that dry to me honestly and i don't have oily eyelids i think these are great for somebody with oily eyelids because you know it is it is it's stiff enough that it will hold you together most of the day all right let's see what's next up so I put everything in a little box. So I really didn't buy that much. And, you know, we're not even going to discuss the Ulta packaging issue. We, don't you hate how the big Ulta puts the smallest thing in the biggest ass boxes. I wish they would get some uh, envelope mailers, but that's another one of my um, my uh, issues with companies. But we, we're not going to go down that path right now. So I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. All right. The other thing I got from Mac, of course, was the Fix Plus Spray. Um, it was half price, had to get it, had to get multiples. So I, I got the coconut one and I got three of them. So I have Mac Fix Plus for the next year, it's, year you know, until I can get it on sale again or I just had to bite the bullet and pay full price. But I think I have enough Mac Fix Plus for quite some time. This face will be fixed for quite some time. All right, so I got that. And then I got, I forgot he even bought this. Now that I looked in the box, I said, oh shit, I did get this. I got the uh, Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector, this uh, primer, because I wanted to try it. I've heard good things about it. If you've used it, tell me about it. What do you think of it? So I got the Becca one. Then I got um, the Tardis Pro Glow Blush Palette. This was another palette I didn't get. I didn't get the Tardis Pro Remix Palette. Because I was going back and forth, but I was like, but you didn't want, you 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 were like, no, I don't want it when it first came out. So I got that. This is beautiful. Um, I'm going to say, I know I heard some bad, you know, reviews on it, but let me not, and here's why I'm going to say that is because this is for deeper skin tones. It is not for fair ladies. This is actually a really nice palette for some of my complexion, a little bit deeper. So that's why a lot of the fair ladies like, oh no, it's too much. It ain't. It's just a really nice palette for somebody with some you know color i'm just saying because these are richer intenser colors just give y'all a quick swatch of them not gonna swatch too much but you know it's a nice beautiful got a nice little sheen these are very shimmery which are going to be great for the summer boom all right there then i got um the buxoms went on sale so i had to get them so i got my buxoms i bought six of them one i gave to b because i forgot to order her her white russian because she loves white russian and she was out so i have bought white russian rose julep wild orchid uh pink champagne pink lady and peach daiquiri so those are the six that i bought to really like you know because they're buxom and i they were on sale and that's when i get them so there was my bucks and stuff. Bye. And last but not least, these are the other things I bought. I bought, is this it? Yeah, this is, oh, okay. Last three things I bought. This is like going to be really a quick video for me. Um, I bought the Too Faced Born This Way um, ethereal, ethereal Setting Powder because I wanted a new powder to try. And um, 
I've always wanted to try this one, have never gotten around to getting it. So I have this setting spray, I'm setting powder. I meant to buy another one. I wanted the Derma Blend, but they only had the translucent. I didn't want the translucent. Translucent. I wanted the medium, and it was the only one that was on sale. And then I forgot to buy some pressed powders, but that's it's another story. Okay. Then I got these. The only skincare I bought was this, which is the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. I meant to pick up the Mario Badescu Vitamin C Serum. However, regular price, I don't mind paying for that. So um, if I have to, I will buy it at regular price or I will go to the Mario Badescu site and get it on sale from them. So yeah, I got these facial radiance pads because I wanted to try these out because they're like a nice little, um, you know, quick exfoliator and they were super cheap. So I did get those. And finally, the only palettes I bought were the Lime Crime Venus one and two. That's what I got because you know I've fallen in love with the Venus palettes. So I had to finally get the originals. So I have this one right here, which I actually have the dupe of by Face Candy. I, I, I didn't know I was getting it, but I do have that now. And then I have this, the Venus two right here. So this, these will be put away because I'm really not going to be wearing those colors. Probably not. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still, you know, listen, I'm not going to apologize. I'm still congested, y'all. I'm trying to break this cold, but it ain't going nowhere right now. Let's pray that it does. You know, put put up a little solid prayer that Lulu gets her chest together because it's a little rough out here on these streets. All right. So anyway, that is it for my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty haul. That's it. That's all. Um. If you had, let me know what you got on the Ulta, one, Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. Did you buy a lot? How did you handle it? What did you do? All right now, it's your Lulu. Be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. Talk to you later.